the IRS wants a piece of your crypto pie and future ICX integrates with band protocol. What's going on guys? Randy here with another daily crypto video. Before I get into today's content, if you guys want free cryptocurrency and you're a Coinbase user, or if you're a new Coinbase user, or a future Coinbase user, you can earn free crypto, free EOS, free Stellar, and free Compound just by watching a couple videos, answering a couple quiz questions. You'll get $29 of free crypto that you can convert into Bitcoin or just hold those three projects. It's for a limited time only, link in the description. All right, so the IRS, of course, they want their piece of the pie as, you know, they, they should get it. They should get their piece of the pie. The problem is there's so much uncertainty about the industry. I mean, because it's so new. So uh, let's take a look at a couple stories here. So the IRS plans to ask every American worker if they use crypto in 2020. On August 19th, the IRS released drafts of its income tax forms for 2020 which will ask every American filing income for the year whether or not they use crypto. Early into its very first page, the latest 1040 form asks, at any time during 2020, did you receive, sell, send, exchange, or otherwise acquire any financial interest in any virtual currency? Chandan Lodha, founder of crypto tax software firm Cointracker, uh, told Cointelegraph that cryptocurrency question is now front and center on the IRS Form 1040 for next year, pretty clearly shows that the IRS is taking cryptocurrency taxes even more seriously. The news follows a series of other indicators that the tax agency is stepping up its work to bring crypto to heel. So, you know, this happens every time crypto, the crypto market is in the spotlight, and right now it's back in the spotlight. Uh, and of course, the IRS is going to get their piece of your your crypto pie so it's going to be taxed like any other any other uh investments so just be aware of that there's another story about the irs as well so the challenge of taxing proof of stake so one you know the most awesome thing about crypto in my opinion is the proof of stake concepts where you can earn staking rewards. The thing is, it's still so new to uh, the taxing regulations that it's not being done yet. And the problem is, being overtaxed is, is a huge problem. You know, it almost feels as if the powers that be don't want you to, uh, you know, to get to get rich off these off these assets. But anyway, so while being a relatively young correction. To the energy-intensive proof-of-work network validation, proof-of-stake has existed in theory since 2012. However, a rising market cap of POS tokens like Cardano and Tezos over the past two years and Ethereum is much hyped, but much delayed shift from POW to POS have brought the subject to forefront. Alongside an overall increase in regulatory attention on crypto generally, uh, POS protocols are an area of much debate. One question highlighted by a recent letter from several congresspeople to the IRS is taxes. Specifically, the letter voice worries about overtaxing staking rewards. Unfortunately, the IRS is really treading in new territory. It's not a surprise that they have yet to put together comprehensive guidance on staking rewards. Congressman David uh, Schweikert, whose office sent the letter to the IRS and Cointelegraph, that the main task was just trying to get it on their radar, he continued. We know they have some very smart people over there working on those issues. We're letting them know that there are those in Congress interested. As Coin Telegraph has noted in the past, educating the IRS is complicated. Staking is no exception. And uh, I'm going to link this article down in the description so you can read the full article. I don't want to go into the whole thing. <clears throat> So, um, Stephen uh, Chandrakara, Cointracker's head of tax strategy, advised caution in the meantime. 
in the absence of IRS guidelines, what taxpayers can do is take the most conservative approach, which is recognizing income at the time you receive it. Nonetheless, it's clear that the IRS is paying even closer attention to crypto, spurred on, uh, spurred on by legislators. Something's got to give. So, yeah, just uh, especially with tax forms now coming out and asking you if, if you uh, if you uh, use crypto, if you if you've traded it, if you've received it, whatnot. You know, same thing's going to be true with staking rewards. Now, um, there's no way around uh, not reporting it. So just, you know, do the right thing and save yourself the problem. Report on your crypto taxes. And there are crypto tax uh, services that will uh, take care of this kind of stuff for you. Moving on to the next story is Future ICX, uh, which is a prediction market on ICON. Um, they integrated with Band Protocol for decentralized and customizable price oracles. I like talking about ICON because I think it's a massive undervalued project at the moment that's not getting enough attention. ICX is going to be huge. ICON's going to lead, uh, lead things in South Korea and beyond. And anytime I can report the news to you guys about it, I love to do so. All right, so future ICX a multi-grant winning decentralized prediction market built on ICON Network has completed the integration of their Banchain customized Oracle script and the migration to Banchain Proof of Authority mainnet. In recent months, both teams have been working to fine-tune the Oracle parameters to test and iterate a secure and reliable price feed that is ready for the production environment and highly resistant to frontrunners or manipulation. Future ICX is a trading-related prediction market where the players can place a wager on what a certain crypto pair's price would be at a predetermined future moment of time. All the players' wagers are, the pooled, are then pulled together, and the most accurate ones are rewarded according to a multi-tiered reward structure. <clears throat> the aim of Future ICX is to create an equally fair platform for skilled traders to have a fighting chance to make returns without having to outplay the institutional investors in a decentralized and safe environment. The transition from our Hillian Oracle to Band Protocol's Oracle on the mainnet will power the data layer of Future ICX in a completely scalable and decentralized manner. We are thrilled to have the strategic support of Band Protocol in the long term as our team ramps up product offerings and traction, uh, Dillian Georgioff, founder of uh, Future I ICX said. With the Banchain Bridge implementation completed on Icon Network, Future ICX has switched from using a centralized Oracle to Band Protocol centralized Oracle, which will be providing highly reliable and accurate price feeds for all the quick crypto pairs that are sourced from the various high quality and trusted uh, data sources. So just more bullish news for ICON and ICON projects such as Future ICX. And of course, Band Protocol 2, very good solid Oracle project. Number two to Chainlink. Uh, really uh, made up some, some significant ground the past month. Cooling out, Band's cooling off a little bit just like Chainlink, but Band, you know, Band Protocol is going to be a massive project uh, as well as chain link there's room for both so uh, looking forward to hearing more progress progress on band protocol and icon one more thing before I let you guys go if you haven't downloaded the brave browser yet now now might be a good a good time to do so band um, the brave browser is just like Google Chrome you can download Google Chrome extensions stuff like that the main difference though it blocks ads and trackers saves you bandwidth, saves you time, and what's really cool, you get paid in basic attention token for clicking on ads you want to. Um, you don't have to, but if you do, you get paid in, in BAT. So far I've earned this month 21 BAT, valued at $8.06. When basic attention token gets to its all-time high of a dollar, I want to be earning over $21 a month just from using this browser, and we all know it's probably going to go beyond a dollar in this next uh, bull cycle. So if you want to try out the Brave browser, link down in the description. Also, what's really cool too, 
you can also tip your favorite content creators in the basic attention token you earn. So if you want to tip your favorite creators, go ahead and do so. Again, link in the description. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you tomorrow.